Why would you do that? And so the Bible says that Eve understood that God told me something. He told me, the watch this, the worst thing that a person could do is fall in the hands of an angry God. Have you ever thought about that the devil's device was to make you fall in the hands of an angry God? Why? By making you walk in disobedience. The wrath of God comes upon the ones that disobey. And so what happens is the Bible says that a deceiver, the liar, the father of lies will cause such a disruption in your faith until you'll walk out of line with God. So some of this stuff, you got to eat. Some of this stuff, you got to be accountable. I never should have listened to them. Jealousy is a vile, vicious spirit. It is not a green eye monster. There's some pretty, pretty, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. And inside of them is jealousy. But there's some folks that look like they hit the tree uh, ugly all the way down. And, and, and you don't understand. You are uh, you, 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 Your character is not attractive. And some of you are jealous that somebody look halfway decent. You're jealous that somebody got a good lace from. Whatever your issue is, you need to sit on the couch because the Holy Spirit is saying that is the characteristics of the devil. The Bible declares that this person by the name of Lucifer, son of the morning, that he was considered beautiful. The Bible declares, hear me, that his character was ugly. Hear me. And so no matter where the pendulum swing, whatever you look like, all are beautiful, but your insides, unfortunately, are not attractive. And most people don't understand you looking at the outward exterior, but you better watch the fruit. So you better watch the fruit. Have you ever dated somebody that was real good looking and then you got involved with them and you're like, dang, I should have had a V8. You are letting people beguile you from doing what you're supposed to do. It is about to be 2024, the year of the open door, and you are still allowing the liar to be in your presence. Let me say something. Do you not understand the danger of having liars and jealous people in your presence? Because what happens is I don't care if they are in your bloodline. I don't care if they are your family. It is dangerous to entertain the liar. The Bible declares that the devil is a liar. There is no truth found in him. So when you see people that ain't got no fruit, what you're looking at with people who would never ever have any truth found in them, check their record. I'm going to help y'all today. Someone said, what a word. Go on, click, tag, and share. I haven't hit, have hit the pinnacle of the message. Let me help you with something. The Bible says that what Eve did, she had a conversation. It all starts with a conversation. And what, what happened, 1,700 people, what happened is it was a conversation that was had. But it wasn't the conversation that was the problem. It was the liar who took the conversation, manipulated and took the truth and told and manipulated to be a lie. He said, these are the trees. But did he say, watch this, you can't eat from this one. So he used a tactic, a manipulative tactic with a condescending tone to mess up a promise God said. You, 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 you. Ooh. The Bible says that when he used this manipulative tactic, he was crafty. Liars are crafty. They will contort the truth. They will find a flaw. Their job is from the devil to find a crack. And that ain't even the truth. But if I create a lie, then they won't applaud. If I could create a lie, they won't follow. If I could create a lie, they won't watch. If I could create a lie, she won't have, they won't have. Their tactic is to simply to destroy. Show me in the word of God where the Lord use people with fruit to destroy other people. Fruit wants the best from everybody. Bad fruit don't want the best for nobody. If you check the record of a liar, you will see a person that is always miserable. If you check the record of a liar, you will find a person that always got a problem. If you check the record of a liar, because the Bible says what strife is, every evil work has to follow. Why? Because they can't bear good fruit. 
Listen, I, I, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm do something. Hold on. I'm going to do something. Hold on. Please, please. Let me just use your names just for a reason. TT, because I know TT. TT and Mother Darlene. Both of them go to Unity. Okay. So here's TT and here's Mother Darlene. Olivia Garten and then Marla Moore. Hey, baby, how you doing? So all of these women are going up and down the town now. And so this is what happened. TT is friends with Mother Darlene. Then Olivia and Marlo, they all come together. And so what happens is Mother Darlene says, hmm. I don't like their relationship. Well, TT closed on a house. Well, that's not what I heard. And Mother Darlene will get mad because TT closed on a house. And TT used to be friends with Olivia. And then Olivia used to be friends with Marlo. And all of them used to be friends. But when TT got her house, they all got mad. And then when TT got her house, they all got mad. And so Mother Darlene says, hold on. I'm going to break this whole party up. Why? It ain't happening to me. And because it's not happened to me, I'm going to make sure it don't happen to nobody because I can never be in the presence of God. I'm going to create liars. I'm going to create a lie where there is truth so they can't worship God too. And that's the tactic of this demonic force called the devil. 